my friends and welcome back to the Hall of Famer. Now I apologise there hasn't been an episode in quite a few days but obviously the schedule is jam-packed this week what with the Premier League being played weekend, midweek, weekend. I'm having to record a lot of stuff but today we are going to jump back into the Hall of Famer. Um, not much has really happened as far as games played since the last episode. I have signed some new players. That's what we're going to start with. So here we go, introducing you to the guys that have come in and some of the guys that have left. So my friends, we're going to start very, very quickly with the guys that have left the club. Then we'll jump in and I will show you the guys that we have signed up for the rest of the season. So as you can see, my friends, since we met last time out, three more players have left the club. Uh, Angelo Di Simeone, he has gone out on loan. Um, he's a youngster with a lot of potential. I just wanted to get him some game time. Uh, I've signed a right back, uh, a backup right back, so we didn't need him. I think it could be good for his career. Then I guess um, the next couple might be shocks. They were very, very instrumental in our promotion last season, but I do believe I have signed some better players um, than these guys. Uh, Marco Larry has gone to Renate for 5K. Uh, we did sign him on a free last season. He's aging. He's over 30 years of age now, and his stats had started to tell off. But I suppose the biggest shock for us was last season's captain, Andrea Fiola. He has gone to Ascoli for 110K. Basically, I couldn't promise him first in football. He didn't really like it. He wanted to leave the club. And I think we've done well to get just over 100K for him. Our financial situation at this club is in dire straits. So we needed to make some money, basically. So that's why I sold him. Now, let's jump on in. Let me show you the new signings that have joined the club that are hopefully going to help us stay up this season. So my friends, we will start with the loan signings and the first one that I have to introduce you to is Jerome Sinclair. This guy is coming in on loan from Watford. We are not playing any wages for him uh, and I feel like he could be a really, really solid signing for us this season. He is a striker, can play advanced forward, uh, current ability of three and a half stars, potential to go up to four stars. I think he's got a lot about his game that could be good for the league. I think the only thing that's going to hold him back at the beginning is that he doesn't speak the language and for those that are not aware if they don't speak the language they find it hard with the teamwork so we need to try and get him learning Italian as quickly as possible but what a sign in he's going to play up front for us. The next loan signing I have to introduce you to is Isi and he is a Spanish midfielder you can see his stats are very very solid I do believe he's probably the best midfielder that we have at the club now uh, current ability of four stars can progress a little bit uh, he has come in lo on loan with paying his wages uh, and we do have a future transfer fee um, put in the loan deal. So if a miracle was to happen, we were to get promoted, we were to get some money, we might be able to buy this guy at the end of the season. Um, I really, really like the look, at, look of him. Um, he's got high consistency, uh, very determined, and I think he is going to be an absolute asset to this club. And the last guy to join us on loan this season is Rafael Barros. He's a Portuguese centre-back, can play left-back as well, and he's come on loan to the club from Fiorentina. I just wanted some backup in the centre-back position, if I'm being completely honest. I don't think he's going to start uh, week in, week out, but he's got some solid stats about him. Uh, you know, good heading, good tackling. Uh, I like the look of his physicals. I think he could be a quality player for us this season. Welcome this lad to the club. Now, as I just said, my friends, um, with regards to the players that were going out, um, this is the reason why I let Di Simeone leave. I've brought in Fabian Tate. Um, he is going to be playing a backup right back. He can play right wing as well, which is good. I like people that, you know, are um, versatile. Um, he's got good... I think he's got better stats as a defender um, than he has as a winger. I will just show you. If we click this, you can see he's got some very good stats. I use fullbacks. Um, on automatic so you can see it's got some really solid stats uh, the marking lets him down a little bit but I think we can get away with it and like I say he's only going to be a backup anyway three star current ability he's not going to get any better he's 26 years of age but I think he's a solid signing for this division we then come to Jacopo Skakabaka I can't pronounce his surname I might just call him Scab which I know sounds a bit wrong but I just I don't know how to say that name 
Skakabarozi. See, I, I just can't say it all the time. But anyway, he has signed for us. 24 years of age. He's joined the club on a free transfer. Two grand a week. The wages are a little higher. Um, well, for us, because of the financial situation we're in anyway. But he's four-star current ability with a potential to grow a little. And as you can see, a lot like Issy, he is a well-rounded centre midfielder. Really, really like the look of him. Hopefully, he can do a job for us. He didn't have the best debut, that has to be said. But... Things can only get better, can't they? But welcome this lad to the club. And our last signing of this current transfer window that closed a few days ago was Walter Ponce. He's a Chilean uh, striker, can play advanced forward, which is lovely jubbly. And as you can see, his stats are very strong. Uh, he's joined us for nothing. The wages are not too bad. Three star current ability with a potential to maybe reach four stars if we can really get him firing. He did score coming off the bench in his debut, which is where we're going to head next. We're going to head over to the fixtures, but welcome this lad to the club. Let's hope he can do big things. So here we are, my friends. We are at the fixtures screen, and um, I hope you like the look of those signings. I think they're positive. I think they could really help us, um, you know, stand a chance of possibly avoiding relegation this season. Now, my friends. I did say in the last episode that um, the media prediction is 22nd, and since looking at the league, 22nd is bottom, dead bottom. Um, so let's hope we don't finish there, because that means relegation, and that's the last thing we bloody want. But anyway, moving on to the fixtures that I played um, in the gap between last episode and this one. I've completely lost my train of thought there. Um, I played two games in the end. I was going to come back and start... Um, the Cosenza game for you guys, but I was trying to move on a few things in the game. So I just played that fixture. It, it's, you know, you didn't miss much. And I'm about to tell you why. But anyway, the first game we played was against Citadella. We actually played really well, but we come away with nothing. They managed to grab a winner in the 90th minute in this game. Um, I was absolutely gutted, really gutted. But a few players didn't have the best of games. Some had better games, but the less said about it, the better. We then moved on and we played the game against uh, Cosenza. And we got what I think is a very, very good 1-1 draw. Uh, they took the lead on the 10th minute. They were completely dominant in the first half. But we really came back into it in the second half. I changed a few things up and uh, we managed to come away with a point. So hopefully this is the first point of many. And as you can see, Walter Ponce scored on his debut in the 73rd minute and uh, became an instant hit with the fans. Now we're going to move on to today's episode. I don't want it to be a short one. I want to try and get a couple of games done if possible. Uh, the transfers didn't take too long. So I'm going to play the games against Trapani and Croton in today's episode for you guys. Let's hope we can get at least one win. And just a side note, my friends. Look at the... Uh, Look at the finances. It's like a fucking slide. God. So, my friends, we are going to start today's episode, like I just said, at home against Trapani. And I know what you're all thinking. Your tactic looks like a Christmas tree. Yes. I would be in agreement. It does. Um, this is something I'm trialing at the moment. Um, basically, when we went 1-0 down in the last game at halftime, I changed to this formation to try and get some of the stronger players involved in the game. It seemed to do a job, so I'm going to trial it. I'm just going to trial it in this game. The thing I've really, really noticed um, this time out, uh, with FM in particular, is the wingers don't seem to work as well as they did last year. I just I can't really get them going. I've been watching other stuff and other tactics, and the wingers work. But for me, I just can't get the wingers working. So I've gone for a more narrow formation, and this is what I've come up with. Um, it's a 4-3-2-1. It's a narrow, basically it's a narrow version of what we've been playing. We were playing with wingers before, now we've just pulled them inside, and we're playing with a shadow striker and an attacking mid. Hopefully it's going to make the midfield a bit more solid as well. Uh, you know, I'm going to use this tactic against teams I expect to beat. Trapani are one of those. And when I come up against stronger teams, I'm probably going to go to wingers. There's my thinking behind it. Go counter-attack. But the only thing that's different with this formation to the one we usually use is that you'll see I'm exploiting the middle. Um, but other than that, the rest is pretty much as it was. And um, yeah, let's get going. But before we get going, 
let me introduce you to the team for the game. So we've got Salah in goal. We've got Brumat and uh, Formisano on the, in the fullback positions. We've got Hubers and Pirello at centre back. Uh, we've got Mahini, Bro, and EC in the centre of midfield. We're going to go with Moroni and Svensson behind the striker. Ponce up front. Come on, the boys, let's get three points. So here we go. We get the game kicked off and hopefully we can come away with a positive result. Now, my friends, if the lighting's a bit weak on the cam footage, I do apologise. It's um, My lighting's broke. It finally give up and um, I'm a bit skint at the minute. But the minute that I'm paid, I mean, I've got a bit of money, I'm going to order some new lighting, but I'm going to order some good stuff as well. Hopefully, it's going to make the quality of the videos look a bit better. With all that chatting, we now find ourselves 16th minute. A corner comes in. We go 1-0 down. And um, it's all doom and gloom for old beer at the moment. Well, it's half time and that's just not good enough. Um, nothing to talk about. Nothing of any warrant. The players have all playing awful as well. And we are just going to have a go at them and hope that they can get out there and fucking do a job. I'm going to go to shoot on site as well because we need to get something from this game. So it's not working um, and we're going to have to make some changes. I'm going to bring Sinclair on for Ponce. He's not had the best of games. Um, I think we are going to pull Svensson off as well. And I think I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Hamadi on, I'm going to push him out and I'm going to play him as an inside forward. Hopefully he can do a job for us. Moroni, we'll just leave him there for now and just see what happens. Right, free kick, easy now. Where can you go? Hamadi, Sinclair. They did the job. Super substitutions from your boy. Come on, it's 1-1. One, one. It was a decent enough kick, but that bro on the ball. Moroni. Into EC, where are we going to go with this now? Come on. He has a shot and it's saved by the goalkeeper. Looking good though. If we're looking at the stats, we are fucking dominating. 21 shots in the game. All right, throw in now. Trapani, come on. Nothing silly, boys. Need to get this out. Good header. No. Yes. Come on, break. Moroni, break. Come on, oh, Moroni. He's still doing that stupid losing the ball bullshit. Come on. That's nice. Don't lose it now, Moroni. Don't lose it, I just said. Oh, my God. Twice. If we lose this game, I'm blaming Moroni. I'm pulling him off and selling him. Sort yourself out. That's nice. Come on. Moroni now. On the ball. Pass it. Easy. Moroni. He's involved a lot, isn't he? Hamadi. That's a good ball. Sinclair with the goal. The super sub puts us 2-1 up. I thought it looked a little offside, but I'm not going to complain. Right, it's a corner now to Trapani. They scored from one earlier in the game, but it, they're not going to score from one this time. That's beautiful stuff. Bro, into Sinclair. Where's he going to go with this? And he shoots, and really, he should have taken it down the line. But we have been brilliant. We have been brilliant since Sinclair has come on. Again, Salah now, kicking the ball out. That's nice. Come on. You see, oh, he skips past his man. Into Sinclair, into Moroni. Can he shoot? He can, and he hits the bar. Oh, we've been excellent in this second half. Right, we are going to make a change. I'm going to pull Moroni back. Um, I'm going to really. I'm going to basically. We're just going to go a bit defensive, but I want to see the game out. We're going to stick him on defend, and then we are going to pull Moroni off for. Um, we'll pull him off for Consalves. And we'll just change these guys around. Um, he's more of a box to box. Lovely old job. And uh, let's just see it out. I know that looks a bit weird because of old Hamadi out on the wing, but um, it it will do. It will do the job, won't it, everyone? Um, deep lying, defend. That's better. I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place today, my friends. I haven't made one of these episodes in a while. I think I'm just finding my feet again. And as I'm talking, they're going to come forward. And hopefully that change of formation isn't going to fuck us up. But how has that ball got through? And they have... Whew, that was close. It's gone wide. All right, so throw in it to us in an area I don't like. But we've managed to come away with it. Gonsalves now into EC, who has lost the ball. Not good enough from you. But won it again. Come on, we just need to come, go, come forward now. Oh my God, not now, not now, not now. What a goal. They've got a corner at the death, and if this goes in, and a 2-2 draw, we have to say, is pretty disappointing. Um, 
Fuck, how did we not see out that win? Okay guys, so we come to the second and final game of today's episode and we are going to revert back to the old formation. I was not too impressed with that um, in that last game. I did, however, quite like how the formation looked in the second half. So if the left wing thing doesn't work in this game, maybe we can pull it inside and attack in mid. There are options there, but I think we have to take the positives. A 2-2 draw is very, very good because... We're not expected to do much in this league. The fact we've even scored some goals is very impressive. But the team we're going to go with to try and beat Crotone uh, away from home in this game, we're going to go with Salah in goal, Brumat and uh, Giuliano in the fullback positions. We're going to go with Hubers and Perello uh, at centre-back. We're going to go with Mahini, Bro and Isi in the centre midfield, Moreu and Hamadi on the wings. And we're going to go with Sinclair up top. Come on. So we get this game kicked off and... Um, you know, I take a draw, but a win would be nice because we haven't won yet this season. Right, so it's a throw in to us. It's pretty decent. Mahini, where are you going to go? Comes back to Giuliano and he, he can't make anything of it. And it's come all the way back into our half and we've got to start again. But we're doing quite well with it. Brumat now on the ball. Where's he going to go? Into Hamadi. Comes back to Brumat. Into Issy. Into Bro. Into Mahini. Where can he, can he find a pass? He can. That's a good pass as well. Oh, Hamadi. Oh, he does manage to get a ball in the box. And it's come to Murray, who's passed it out. Giuliano again. Inside to Bro. Inside to Issy. Into Hamadi. He shoots. He's at the post. And Sinclair. We're lucky to have scored that uh, rebound, though. He did kick it against the goalkeeper. But it's 1-0. It's a positive start from the boys. And they've got a free kick with the goalkeeper there. And uh, they've still managed to get it. Oh, how have we missed that? Belich. It goes wide. And we find ourselves at half time and I think we are good value for money to this point. We've been pretty dominant in the game. 1-0 up. Just need to carry this on in the second half. Could we be on the verge of our first win in Serie B? Okay, my friends, I'm going to make my first substitution in this second half. And uh, it's just not really happened for Moreu in this game. So I am going to bring... Um, Salvamini on. We're going to change these over and we're just going to have to go to a bog standard winger now uh, for both and uh, hopefully Hamadi can still get the job done. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm quite impressed with the rest of the team. I think they're going quite well. Uh, let's just get back out and do this ting, eh? Do this ting. Wow. Why did I even do that? Stupid, weird impression. So, 66 minutes on the clock. Croton come forward and um, it would just be my luck that they would go and grab a goal now and oh that's good that's a good block from the defenders oh missed the challenge they've still got it um, hopefully we can get this out and Hubers has done quite well there throw in now to Cro Croton they're they're the better team at the moment and Belich they, they are the better team at the moment. They've really come into it in this second half. He's saying it's an OG, so it must have taken a deflection off of Hubert. I'm going to make a substitution. Um, I'm just going to try and freshen the midfield up. Um, I'm going to bring Scab on. And I am also going to bring Ponce on. Let's just see if he can make a bit of an impact. All right, 88th minute. The last thing we need now is to go and concede a goal and lose this game. Um, I think we've been really decent and we've given away a penalty. There we have it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, so it's not the ideal start to the season. I think we can all be in agreement with that. Uh, from our opening four games in the league, two losses and two draws, it's it's not good. This is going to be fucking hard this season. Um, I know last season we kind of had a very fluke season of our lives, but I thought we might have taken some of that momentum into this year. But we have done anything but. Um, the one thing I can say is at least we're scoring goals. But it don't really help if your defence can't keep it out. But, you know, less said about that, the better. Um, so, yeah, a draw and a loss today. Obviously, guys, I'm going to play on like I always do. 
Um, so I'm going to play five games. So um, I'm going to play the games against uh, Avonlino, Livorno, Spezia, Entella, and uh, Salernitana. I think that's how we're saying that. So next episode, we will pick this up against Red Gianna, who are not doing very well in the league. Um, and we will play Carpi as well, who are doing really well in the league. Um, I do believe next episode's episode 19, so the one after that's a big one. So, you know, a big bumper episode's coming soon, and it's probably going to be the opposite to the last bumper episode, where we won five games. This next time, we'll probably lose, lose all five games. But anyway, we might have to start looking for a new job, because don't see this season going too well do you but anyway let's head over to the league table before we wrap this episode up and let's see what damage has been done and so here we are this is the league table my friends and uh yeah yeah it's not looking good is it no uh, let's just have a little scroll yeah we just won above um so yeah 21st solid effort not one yet two draws two losses Two points on the board. Um, yeah, we need to start winning games and winning games quick because this could get away from us. And I'm saying that four games in and you're all probably sitting there thinking, calm down, mate. You've only just started the season. But you've seen how bad we are in defence. Um, yeah. Nothing more to say. So there you have it, my friends. That's another episode of the Hall of Famer in the books. Um, it's not looking good, is it? It's not going to be the easiest of seasons. I think we'd be very, very lucky to stay in this league. The finances are not helping. They're really, really hurting us because we just can't sign anyone. We can't sign the quality that we need. Um, if you've enjoyed today's episode, though, my friends, be sure to be dropping me a like on the video. It really is much appreciated. If you're brand new to the channel, you like what you see, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button. If you hit the little bell next to it, you will become part of the notification squad and you will be notified the minute the video drops on the channel. But until next time, you beautiful people, I've been Dan. You, of course, as always, have been legends. This has been FM17, the Hall of Famer. Peace out, my homies. And I'll see you next time. We'll probably be bottom.